Hey everybody, um, yesterday I went shopping at Northern Tool. Um, I bought a new shop fan for out here. Um, this is the fan I used to have. It's annoying because it vibrates like crazy. But um, we bought this one at Northern Tool. And um, I also bought some stuff for my air hose reel that I had shown you in a previous video. I finished assembling it off video because I forgot to take a video of it, but I put the handle on and stuff, but got my air hose on it, um, and I bought some fittings for it so I can connect it to my air compressor. But yeah, I bought this yesterday on sale. It was like 25% off or something. They had like a deal where they were doing a deal with fan clearance. But yeah, I'm thinking about mounting it like on the garage door frame thing to um so that it gets like the whole garage and stuff so yeah I need to get some angle iron and figure out how to mount it so yeah I'll do that and just move this out of the way here what I'm going to do in the video today I'm not mounting this on camera. I'll just I'll mount it high next weekend, but what I am gonna do on video is finishing off doing the air hose reel here. Just move this the way here. I bought a lead hose for connecting it to the air compressor. And it's just a 10 foot Goodyear hose. And let's see. I also bought a quick connect coupler for this part here. This part here is going to go in the in there. And then this part here is going to go on the end of the hose. And I also bought these these couplers I'm gonna put one right here and then connect it connect the air hose like that or something I'll take this off here because I won't need that on there but yeah I'll do that too and then I also have that so let's find a place to set you down so that you can see. I'll probably just hold you. Because I don't have a tripod right now with me. Let's see. Turn on my workbench lights. Now, I will be doing a video of mounting this engine onto my engine bra thing here. Um, I'll do a video of that sometime this week I imagine. So, let's see. Uh, somehow cut this open here. Maybe. Here, let me set you down real quick. And I will cut it open. Too hard to do with one hand. Okay, so I got it open, and here it is, Let's see, there, so I need to get Teflon tape for that, this is, it's in here, it's just my irrigation toolbox, alright, got some Teflon tape, um, so, I will set you down, let's see, I'll set you down right here, and I will also open up the air hose, and put Teflon tape on that, as well, so, There's 
forms at times. Time. All right, got the air hose opened up. Um, it's like a 10 foot air hose, so that's kind of nice. It's long. So I'll just put Teflon tape on the fittings here. And And I'll show you how it looks. Got one fitting done. Now I'm working on the second one. Alright, got fitting, both fittings with Teflon tape on them so they don't leak. So there's one. And there's the other. So, now I will put Teflon tape on the quick connect fitting. For the bottom of the air hose. Reel itself. Alright, got the fitting Teflon tape on there. And let me go grab a wrench real quick. For putting that fitting on. There. Alright, got a wrench. Now I'll just thread that in. And get the wrench in here. There. Okay. All Here, I'll set you down real quick and tighten this up and show you. There, alright. It's got that tightened up, as you can see. Now I will put the quick connect on one end of the air compress or air hose that I showed you. And I'll just tighten it up real quick. Let me grab a second wrench. I'm not going to actually like hold the hose itself, like the rubber part. But there's a little spot right there to put a wrench to hold it. See if it'll focus. As you can see, there's this little spot right here. right there. So I will hold hold the fitting there. I'm just trying to tighten this up here. There. Alright. Got that on there. So, there. And 
when that goes on. And it fits on there nicely, as you can see. So now I will put a fitting on the other end of the hose. I need to look in my toolkit for my air compressor and see if I have a fitting. Yes, I do. All right. And the fitting I'm looking for is a female thread thing like this. And you can see it's female thread. So I'll set that down over there. And this needs to go on the other end of the hose. So I will put that on and then show you. And I'll go ahead and tighten it up. And I'll hold the air hose again. Alright, got that all finished up. Now I got a long hose on my to connect to the air hose. So there's the line. Goes down there. And then I have the other end right here. So now I will connect figure this out here. And I need to get a knife and cut open the package. To get to the fittings I bought. And I only need one, so I'll just put the other one away in my, in my stuff. So I'll put, here's the coupler I'm going to use, whoops. So it'll go in here. And then this is the end of the air hose. So, let me put Teflon tape on the coupler threads on both ends. And I'll show you what it looks like. Alright, now I'm going to put it on the other end of the coupler. Alright, got the Teflon tape on both ends of the coupler, so now I will just thread it in here. And I'll get a wrench.
All right, got it threaded in and tightened down. So, there we go. Now I will attempt to pull more air hose down here and get the thing where I can reach it. Uh, let's see. I'm just trying to get this to work here for the little fitting so it doesn't crimp the air hose. Or kink it or anything like that. Like it's doing now. There. Alright, now I'm just going to take the fitting out of the end of the air hose here. And get the, um, get it threaded onto the coupler I put on the air hose reel. And then right now I'm just threading the um the end of the air the air hose end onto the um onto the air hose reel. So I had to pull out a little more and I got it working. Um, so now I just need to put some of it back in there. But yeah, it works good. And then here's the Goodyear hose I showed you. Anyways, it just goes on there, but I'll use this a lot in the shop. I'll probably feature it in another in a video sometime when I'm using my impact gun. So anyways, um, if you have any questions, write a comment below the video. As always, comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you later.